Good evening, my beautiful queens and kings. It's your girl, Greek Princess, back tonight with another slamming vegan recipe. So tonight we are cooking, and I say we because I mean me and you, because you are going to be cooking the same thing that I'm going to show you how to cook tonight. So I am making stuffed bell peppers. So I don't know if you've ever made a stuffed bell pepper, if you ever had one, I think they're the bomb. So my mom, God rest her soul, used to cook these bell, stuffed bell peppers for us all the time when we were kids, me and my sister. And she would make them with, um, and she usually would just have the green bell peppers. And she would make them with rice, ground beef, and all kind of spices and garlic and all kind of good goodness, just goodness. So, of course, times have changed and I don't eat meat. My family doesn't eat meat. So, I make my stuffed bell peppers with stuffing. Same, I don't put, well, since, you know, Christian um, can't really eat the rice like that. He can eat brown rice but um i don't really use the rice so i use quinoa and or i use brown rice but quinoa is what we're using tonight so and if you haven't tasted quinoa it's really good um but you have to know how to make it because it will be very bland if you don't know how to make it so I'm going to show you tonight how I make my vegan stuffed bell peppers. So I don't just do the plain green peppers. I do the green, the yellow, and the red. So it's, what do they call the stop stoplight green uh, bell peppers? So I'm making my baby some bell peppers stuffed, and I'm going to make some um, sautéed asparagus. So that's what I'm cooking tonight for him. Now, he's already had his um, after-school snack, which was um, a vegan hot dog. They are awesome, y'all. Y'all got to try them. So, I'm going to show y'all how to make those two one night. So, I made him a vegan hot dog um, with homemade coleslaw. Um, so, it doesn't have, you know, most coleslaw is sweet. I don't put, like, sugar and all that stuff in there. I put a little maple syrup, but it's not so sweet to where he can't eat it. You know, and I, I don't really like sweet coleslaw. So to me, it's good. I love it. And I make it with the vegan mayonnaise um, and then apple cider vinegar. So that's what he had for his after school snack, a vegan hot dog and coleslaw. And then he had um, some sauteed asparagus. So he should be good and, and not full, but he should be satisfied until I finish with the dinner. So tonight we're gonna get into it. So first, I think I need to do probably a thumbnail because I don't really edit my videos because I don't really know what I'm doing yet. So um, I did see when I was like trying to, you know, upload my videos, um, it would ask for a thumbnail, and I'm trying to screenshot one and trying, and it was just not working. So I'm gonna do it like this. I got my bell peppers and this is how it's gonna be. So I'm just gonna put up all three of them. So this is gonna be my thumbnail. Okay? All right, got it. Look, I'm just, I'm learning y'all. Bear with me, I'm, I'm, I'll am I'm be okay. So like I said, I have my red green and yellow bell pepper so i am going to um, begin by slicing them down the middle and my mom used to like cut off the tops and that that's what i would do too but i just kind of figured out mm, why not double the recipe instead of three bell peppers you got six stuffed bell peppers. Y'all, I think I'm on some, on to something. All right, so here we go. 
So this is what they look like sliced in half. And I'm gonna clean out the middle, get all the um, seeds and, you know, the middle stuff out. Got my yellow one. And then also another good thing about cutting them this way is um, they stand up better because when I was cutting them this way, I would have to stand them up. And once I stuff them, they would be falling over and stuff. So this way they're like more stable in the pan. So I got my green one cut. All right, so I'm gonna clean out the middles. And the peppers are, um, I'm struggling with this one. Okay. All right, there you go. It was kind of hard to get that out. All right. Um, but yeah, another thing about the stuffed peppers, they are so pretty with the, you know, with the colors. I love colorful food. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm a, I'm a color person. I was born in June, so I love warm weather. I love shiny stuff, and I love colorful stuff. So I don't know if I'm the only Gemini like that, but if you know another Gemini that's like that, let me know, because I want to know if I'm the only one. I don't think I've ever talked to anyone else um, that's Gemini if they, you know, like the same stuff I like. But anyway... Um, you know, I got a couple of twins running around here. Um, I don't know if I should shout them out. I don't know, you know. I got my girl Shower. I know she probably watching. She's a big supporter. Um, got my twin, Casey. He more than likely will support. I don't know. You know, we all trying to do right, you know, in our in our golden years. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Cause I know. Don't don't do me. Mm -mm, baby. I'm getting younger and I'm getting better. But anyway. Look, gotta talk a little jump, you know. But anyway. So I'm gonna um rinse the seeds out a little bit because they're staying behind because i already washed these peppers so y'all know because i know somebody will say oh she didn't wash them peppers uh yes i did i just did that before y'all got on here so i'm gonna put my peppers in the pan then i'm gonna come over here and let me see if i can turn my camera over here a little bit <clears throat> and here we go with that exchange bills. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and change it again one day. Um, like I said, the water is still fresh and clean. I don't really know why it says it needs to be changed all the time. But we have a tester, a water tester, where we test the water. And it's actually... Feel the 100% alkaline is clean, it's fresh. So I don't know. But just because she keeps saying, change your filter, I guess that's what we'll do. All right. So I got my peppers rinsed out. <clears throat> And so here we go. See all of them? They're looking pretty nice and bright. So let's turn around. All right. Is it bright enough for everybody? I hope so. Okay. So move it down just a little bit. All right. I know y'all probably like, we don't get to see nothing but here, up, and that's all y'all need to see right now. I'm still in the process of trying to get right for the summer. But let me tell you, I watched that. Well, 
I watched a few videos that I made. And let me tell you, I look like a bull, a big bull. And I was like, you know, I know they have that where they say on camera, you look like you, you know, weigh five or 10 pounds, you're five or 10 pounds, pounds heavier. Shh, honey, I was, that, the videos made me look like I'm a lot heavier than that. But, you know, that's okay because we ain't here for that. We here to get this food going. All right, so <clears throat> I got my quinoa boiling. So the first thing, if you don't know how to cook quinoa, what you do is, um, let me get the bag so I can show you what it looks like. All right, so I get the organic um, quinoa, 100% whole grain. So basically you have to, um, you pour like, it depends on how much you want, but I do like a cup because I don't need that much for these peppers. So I do like a cup. Put I put it in my strainer. You have to have a little strainer. You pour your cup of quinoa in the strainer. Run cold water over it until the water that's coming out of the strainer runs clean. Once the water is clean, then it's ready for you to put in the pan. And the reason why they do that is because they basically say that quinoa is an agri agricultural product. Despite use of modern cleaning equipment, it is not always possible to remove all foreign material sort and rinse quinoa before cooking. So you wanna rinse your quinoa. All right, so I rinsed it off already. I put a little bit of earth balance, soy free, um, dairy free, vegan butter. I put that in the pot while it's boiling. Um, actually, now that I said that, I need to add my salt to the water. Hold on one second. So, you know, if you want it, hold on, I'm not going to talk to y'all while I'm over here. Hold on. It's done cooked up really nice, too. show y'all what it looked like come on come come with me all right so here we go see it kind of looks like grits in a way you see that so it's simmering up pretty good and it's it's kind of you know got a little soft texture to it now so um it's almost ready to go so I'm gonna keep it on low and let, sorry y'all, I didn't mean to spin y'all around that fast cause you know, I'm gonna get ideas of watching something like that. Okay, so I got my quinoa, um, it's cooking. So what I'm gonna do, I put some salt in there as well. So it should be a little flavorful, but I'm gonna hook it up cause you know, I'm, I, I, I gotta have flavor. And Christian, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know if Christian even care about the flavor, but he just know mama gonna hook it up. So I am putting the, and like I told you, I really don't like to cook with a lot of oils and stuff, but certain things I will use um, the vegan margarine or the vegan butter because it's non-dairy, um, but it does have oil in it. Um, let me see. Hmm. It's non-GMO, vegan, zero gram trans fat, gluten free, and non-dairy. Um, it does have vegetable oil blend in it. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, if you don't eat dairy, this is your best choice. And the soy free is good for males because males don't really need soy. So, um, I mean, I don't know if anybody needs soy, but you know, especially the males, because it makes you have breasts. I mean, unless you want to have breasts, but <laughs> you know what? Stop the press. All right, ignore that. So, um, I have my butter in my pan. I'm gonna get my onion. I'm 
might have to get two onions because this thing is pretty small. All right. I'm chopping my onion. I'm going to dice it since um, it's going into a stuffing. Oh, you know what, y'all? I need to turn my oven on. So, um, okay. What is going on? This onion. <laughs> it's giving me problems. I don't know what that's about. Okay. I am the onion queen. I don't know why this onion won't let me peel it. Okay. All right. So, you know. All right. Working on my second one. Feel that one too. So y'all, um, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So I want to know, let's talk. What do y'all think about these holidays? You know, do y'all, you know, look forward to Valentine's Day or do y'all kind of feel like me? Because I'm like, if you love me, I need my love every day. I mean, acknowledging your love for me on one day is not acceptable. I need it all. I need it every day. I need it all the time, all the time. I don't need no one day. But, you know, of course, a lot of people um, use that holiday as validation of the person, you know, really cares about them or shows them extra love with everybody else on that day. And, I mean, I'm just not, you know, I mean, I, I don't think I, I've ever had a Valentine's Day where I didn't get something, but I don't look for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, like, expect it because I already know that I'm going to get mine through the year, so it doesn't matter. But what do, what, what do y'all think? Do you think, you know, that's a holiday that you should, like, be mad at your significant one over oh y'all my refrigerator it, when i tell you it's like it's like between the refrigerator and the water machine they want to tell you what to do close the door turn off the water change the filter it's too many bossy women in my kitchen y'all for real okay i'm closing you and then she'll try to tell you uh, precise cooling is operating. The refrigerator door is closed and it was open for three minutes. Girl, I don't care. <laughs> Y'all, you know I lost my mind when I'm talking to a refrigerator. Oh my gosh. Okay, but it's all right. It'll be all right. Okay, but yes. Um. <laughs> Y'all. You know you silly when you laugh at your own stuff. I don't care because if I don't laugh at my own jokes, who gonna laugh? I mean, you know, that's just like comedians. They don't know when they make jokes that they gonna come out perfect or that everybody gonna laugh. They just hoping, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, oh well. I, I like my jokes, I don't care. Sometimes I laugh at myself, sometimes I don't. But I love to laugh. I really do. I would love, I, I would rather laugh any day than cry, baby. That's, 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 that's the thing right there. Don't make me mad and don't make me cry. I am good. Happy and laughing, I'm good. All right. So, got my onions. I'm going to put them in my pan. All right, so uh, back to Valentine's Day. So, what do y'all think? I know, I know a lot of relationships 
done broke up over <laughs> a man walking in the house and not having flowers or balloon or candy or uh, any of that crap. And I'm gonna tell you like this. If I was a man, yes, I'm a woman and I like nice things and I want things, you know, but if I can't get them, you know, it is what it is. But look, if I was a man, I would be like, what you mad about? Where my, where my candy? Where my roses? Where my balloon? I mean, for real. It's a two way. You know, a lot of women just be sitting at home like, wait till you come in the house. If he ain't got my stuff, if he ain't got nothing for me, it's over. But where his stuff? You got it? Did you go to the store and get it? Did you buy him something to make him happy? If you didn't, you better sit down and be quiet. <laughs> Y'all ignore me. I'm, 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 I'm crazy. And you know what I noticed the other day? When I was showing y'all the water machine or something, I noticed on the camera, I could see the Christmas tree. And I don't care what none of y'all say. Yes, my tree is still up in February. You know why? And if you want to ask my kids, they'll tell you. It be Christmas all year round around here. If I if 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 I don't feel like taking that tree down, I won't. I will leave it up. If don't nobody want to help take it down, it'll stay up. Cause uh Greek Princess got too much to do. When I tell you, I take it down. I will. I promise. I said last year I wasn't gonna leave this one up. <laughs> but I mean, it's so pretty. And I'm like it, 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 it gives the living room a little something, something. And I don't, you know, it ain't bothering nobody. In fact, it keep the floor clean because can't nobody go over there messing up nothing. Is that not right? But yeah, I, I noticed the tree and I said, I know somebody going to say, I know she ain't still got her tree up. Mm -hmm. I sure do. Sure do, sure do. It's okay because... Like I say, nobody help it take it down, so it's gonna stay up. But you know, the kids put it up this year, and they was like, "We put it up, so you gonna take it down?" No, because all of y'all put it up together. So why little old me gotta take it down by myself? Is that fair? No, but anyway, that's another story. But yes, the tree is still up. It's still shining. <laughs> I don't even turn it off. It still stay on. I don't care. Look, people come deliver packages and be like, it's a tree. This lady still got the tree up. <laughs> Y'all, yep, show do. Sir, you wanna help me take it down? Mr. FedEx man, you got something to say? Cause um, you can come in here and help me take this tree down. For real, that's what you can do. But anyway, so look, I got my onions over here. When I tell you sauteed onions is like heaven, heaven. Just, I love the smell of sauteed onions. I, you know what? It reminds me of my mom. Basically, like, I would be like, I know mama down there cooking. I can smell the butter and I can smell the onions and boy, whatever she making, gonna be slamming. My mom was the best cook. And you know, everybody say that about their mama, but I'm, when I tell you, I'm not, I'm not lying. I am serious that she could cook her butt off. And she would like mix like Greek and American food together and it would just be the best, the best. Oh my God, it's so good. But anyway, so yes, that's what onions, you know, remind me of. Okay, so I got my onions in the, in the pan. Um, I got my quinoa ready. I'm about to dump that in the pan. Um, what I do is I have, now I usually put mushrooms in there too. Um, and a little garlic, but you know what? I was like, I don't think I have no more mushrooms. I know it was some mushrooms in there, I think. See, 
my husband be taking stuff and, and doing stuff, throwing stuff away when, <laughs> when he think it need to be thrown away. Anyway, uh-oh. So I done got too carried away with the garlic. Put some back in there. So this is good, y'all. You know, when you're a busy woman, you got to make things easier for yourself, right? So what I do is I buy the organic garlic that's already peeled. That way, I don't have to be busting up no garlic and chopping it too. It's bad enough. I got to chop it up. It's already peeled and, and ready to go. So just keep it in the refrigerator. All right. So um, another thing that I need. Oh, Lord, I'm too short to reach the darn twist of spaghetti sauce. Look, I'm going to use this spoon. It's going to come to me. Come, come here. Okay. So that's what I have to do when nobody else is down here to help me get stuff. Or I just stand on a stool or something, but I don't think I have you know what? I don't, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Why do they put these expiration dates like this? Oh my goodness. And it ain't about, can't see no glasses or none of that. They, oh, I think I said 2021. April 9th, I hope so, because uh, it's going to get used today. Okay. So yeah, so I'm using the Meyer Glenn organic um, tomato basil pasta sauce. So, let me see. All right. So like I said, I don't have, um, let me turn these onions down today. They over there having a party. Okay. So, um, I don't know what what is it just me or when you cook or do anything that you can't use your hands why does your nose always itch when you can't touch your face like is it yeah i don't know what it is it's just i think it's a mind thing i don't know but at the same time you know it does it every time with that okay so here we go y'all i got my garlic chopped and i'm gonna throw that over in the pan with the onions and onions and got a little brown but you know what that's when they the best they be sweet and tasty and you know i usually put the sausage in in this mix um, I might do it because Christian likes it but I don't want see I don't want y'all to think that um, I never cook him meals without the sausage because I do but sometimes you know if you want to throw in a little flavor that really helps so I guess I'll, I'll get one out but, um, too much though let me see here i'll use one of the um i'll use one of the apple sage ones because they have a little sweet to them and i think that'll really bring out the flavor of the um bell pepper all right so here's the sausage Vegan sausage, y'all. I told you, smoked apple sage, field roast. All right. So, I'm just going to cook one, like I said. Dang. I think it's time to sharpen this knife, y'all. All right. So, I, I did have some people suggest pet names for me to give my audience and um 
it's still a hard choice. For right now, I'm sticking to queens and kings, but um, I still need some more suggestions. Y'all come up with something or help me. What y'all want to be called? You know, I mean, something cool. Then corny. <laughs> but anyway, all right, so let's see. Put up the sausage right there. Ooh, that's loud. I think it's because it's cold. It's been in the refrigerator. It's kind of tough to get through. Yeah, that's the door. Everybody had their own code to get in the door. That's a good thing because I know when somebody coming in. <laughs> hey. You just gotta come, don't you right now? It's cold? What? Oh no, what? Y'all, this weather is crazy. How was it 70 degrees this morning? And now it's cold. And it's too cold out here. Man, somebody done messed up something. I don't I don't know what's going on, but yeah. I don't like this. I don't I don't like this weather being switchy swatchy like that i mean it's weird <sighs> but yeah the sun says cold out there i'm gonna tell you what <laughs> didn't i just tell y'all i like warm weather i would not be going out there no time soon until in the morning oh lord here come the bad kids the bad kids Go on over there and sit down. It's my puppies, y'all. They so, oof, they wow, just like kids. Ooh. At least like like my kids. I mean, they everywhere. Ah, ah, ah. Go over there and sit down. Go, go sit down. They do listen though. <laughs> Every once in a while. All right, so I got my sausage cut up. So I am going to put that in the pan. All right. And look at you. When I left here, when I left. <laughs> you leave the house with shorts on and then come back to us. It's cold yeah. out there. Things change within an hour. That is crazy. I mean, absolutely crazy. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Um, all right. So I got my, my sausage and my onions. I'm pouring my quinoa in the pot. I'm gonna show y'all what the meats look like. Y'all, quinoa look like grits for real. <laughs> All right, let me show y'all. Oh, all right. Come on over here. And that is the quinoa mix with the garlic, onions, and the vegan sausage. I'm about to spice it up. So hold your horses one minute. So let me see. Put my camera over here so y'all can stay on this side while I do that. Put my pepper. Let's see. I don't know if it'll stay like this. Hold on, y'all. Uh oh. All right, y'all. I need a. I, I. I think I'm gonna have to hire a cameraman. <laughs> yeah, cause um. 
I'm messing with this camera and trying to cook at the same time and ain't the, ain't, ain't the move. So let me see. So I'm just gonna put some pepper in here. We just got this new pepper um, grinder. The other one um, ran out and we had to throw the whole thing away because you couldn't you couldn't refill it. Uh-oh. All right, so this one is fillable, so it's cute. Nice, fresh black pepper. All right, so that's what I put in here, pepper. And then I'm going to use um, a secret ingredient, which is cinnamon, cinnamon. All right, just a little bit. You don't want it to be too cinnamony. Cinnamon, is that a word? Cinnamon. Oh. That ain't a word. It's a word. All right. All right. Now that I got, and you know what? Y'all don't have to put everything that I'm putting in. Um, you can, depending on what kind of spices you like or flavoring. You can put what you want, but I'm going to put the sauce in to the, to the quinoa mix. Just a little bit. I don't like it too saucy. Just enough to flavor it up. All right. Share it to you again. So here we are. Okay, there you go. All right, so that's the quinoa mix. Is it is it showing a little bit? Okay. Let's see, I think that's all right. Okay. So now I am going to. I'm going to put this back over here because the lighting is better. All right. Not much better, but... Oh, sorry, y'all. But a little bit. So I'm going to take my mix, and I am going to fill up each pepper. These peppers are kind of small. This pan is heavy. Oh, I'm struggling. Dang. Okay. But I'm going to tell you, these peppers are not as big as I thought they were. But they will fill you up, though. That's one thing. So. And see, you know what? Remember when I was saying these, the peppers lean over? These doing it, too. But, oh well. It's still going to all cook the same. Oh, I didn't turn my oven on. I'm going to turn my oven on to um, 425. So, we're going to bake. Now, if y'all think I should put, um, oh, excuse me. If y'all think I should put these um, recipes in a, rec a, e a recipe ebook, then let me know, and I will do that. That way, you can always have the book on hand instead of having to turn on the video and watch if you can't remember everything. seasoning on top a little bit and 
is it? They are ready to go in the oven and they will be ready in about, mm, about 30 minutes, 30, 30 minutes to 45 minutes. But this is what they look like. They smell so good. Ooh, I'm ready to eat now. But anyway, so yeah. So try this recipe, y'all. Um, I'm going to um, also put my asparagus on the grill. And if you don't know how to cook asparagus, you can put it on, I've got, a, um, a, what do you call it? Like a indoor grill, a little, you know, kind of like a panini maker, but it's a grill. And I'll lay these on the grill. In fact, let me, let me show you. Try not to keep y'all too long. Um, so I'm just going to show you. I've already sauteed Christian's um, asparagus. But I can show y'all how I did it. So basically, I just laid the um, asparagus on the grill. And then I will um, spread a little um, vegan butter on them. I will chop up some garlic and let the garlic be all over the asparagus and just close the lid and of course i'm gonna I'm gonna sort them out a little bit but i'm just trying to show y'all how i will do it um and season them up you know put some um either salt and pepper or um it doesn't take much because asparagus they really have their own flavor so um i'll do the asparagus and that is pretty much what i'm cooking for christians well this will be let me see it's, yeah it's it might be too late for dinner, but um, he's going to have um, this for lunch tomorrow. And of course, you know, he'll more than likely enjoy it. <laughs> so, um, and the asparagus will be done. Very, you know, it doesn't take that long to make asparagus. And like I said, you can put them on the grill like that, or you can put them on a sheet pan with aluminum foil, which is sometimes how I do it when I'm being lazy. And I just put them on the pan and, you know, do the same thing that I'm doing the grill. I put them in the oven and let them like, um, I don't know if they broil or whatever they do for about mm, 15, 15 minutes. Because like I said, I don't, I don't like stuff to cook too long, vegetables, because you cook the minerals out of it. But that is the stuffed bell peppers. So try this recipe. Let me know how you like it. Let me know how it turns out for you and comment, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And we will meet back here tomorrow for another vegan delicious recipe. Hey, all right. So it was nice talking to you all tonight. Um, if you all, you know, have some, um, topics or anything you want me to talk about or you want to you know ask questions whatever just leave comments and i'll be happy to oblige but anyway so i am done tonight and i will see you all tomorrow have a good night